Hi, I'm John Hornick. Welcome to Lesson 33 of Chef's Apprentice, Learning to Cook Like a Pro, One Small Plate at a Time. This lesson is chilled cucumber and avocado soup. This is another chilled soup preparation. In this preparation, you will learn the affinity of cucumber and avocado, which make a refreshing combo for a summer soup. As you will see, the basic techniques are the same as the first soup you made, which was leopard soup. As I've said before, soups are a great way to work a vegetable into a meal without them seeming like a second thought. And by the time you finish this course, making soups will be second nature to you, and you will, you will be thinking up your own soup ideas. Techniques today are peeling and seeding cucumbers and avocados, chopping, peeling, and seeding tomatoes, dicing, sweating, deglazing, and reducing, bringing to a boil and simmering, seasoning, pureeing and making a soup, finishing and adjusting seasoning, garnishing, and garnishing from on high. So let's start cooking. Okay, let's talk about the ingredients that we'll need for lesson 33, chilled cucumber and avocado soup. Of course, we're gonna need cucumbers. We're gonna need two large cucumbers or four small cucumbers that have been peeled, seeded, and chopped. Now, I haven't shown uh, seeding a cucumber before. It's very simple. You just take a spoon. I usually put my finger on the back of the spoon like this, and then just pull it through the cucumber to get the seeds out. Okay, now this cucumber will have to be uh, chopped later, and I'll do that before we use it um, in the preparation. Okay, now we'll also need to have uh, the juice of one and a half limes or uh, the juice of one regular sized lime and one small lime. I, I use the latter, I use the juice of one uh, regular sized lime and the juice of one small lime. Uh, and we need that for the avocado. We need three avocados that have been uh, taken out of the shells, throw away the pit, chop them up, and toss them in the lime juice. I've already squeezed out the lime juice, and I've tossed them in the lime juice so they don't, they don't turn brown. We'll also need about a third of a cup of chopped red onion, about one tablespoon of chopped garlic. We'll need some olive oil. You'll need about one to two tablespoons, but we're just gonna eyeball it, so I have the whole bottle here. You're gonna need about a half of a cup of uh, dry white wine. Again, I'm just gonna eyeball it, so I haven't measured it out. We'll need to have about one tablespoon of chopped chives, and about one tablespoon of chopped mint. Also kosher salt, as always. And today we're not using uh, a pepper mill because we don't want the black specks of the pepper in the soup, so we're using ground white pepper. And finally, we will need about two plum or Roma tomatoes that have been peeled, seeded, and chopped. And uh, we, we did that in a prior lesson, peeling and seeding uh, tomatoes. It's also uh, in the glossary that's on my website, which is Chef's Apprentice. Com. All right, that's all the ingredients we'll need. We'll break and come back. I'll show you the equipment you need for lesson 33. Okay, let's talk about the equipment we need for lesson 33. We'll need a cutting board and a chef's knife, as we almost always do. We'll need a paring knife, a peeler. We'll need a, uh, a soup spoon. We'll need a juicer. We'll also need to have a blanching pot. We have that on the stove. I've already blanched the tomatoes and taken the skin off, so we won't be doing that in the video, but you will need to have a blanching pot. You'll also need to have an ice bath to plunge those tomatoes into after you have uh, blanched them and you want to remove the skins. We will need to have a saucepan. Now, how big a saucepan? You'll just have to judge that based upon the amount of ingredients that you need. I've got a pretty big one here so that we have more than enough room. We'll also need to have a wooden spoon. Uh, we'll need to have a blender. I'm using the Ninja Blender as I have before. This is just the base. We'll see that again a little bit later. We'll need a strainer and a rubber spatula and also the wooden spoon. As I've always said, as I've said many times, uh, sometimes it's easier to work the soup through a strainer with a wooden spoon, sometimes with a spatula. You never know. Uh, and finally, we will need to have bowls to plate the soup. I haven't decided on those yet, but we'll need a ladle to ladle the soup into the bowls. All right, that's all the equipment. Right now, we'll come back and we'll start cooking. Okay, the first thing on our prep list is to sweat the onions and the garlic. To do that, we're gonna just add some olive oil. Well, it's about one to two tablespoons. Then add the red pepper. I'm sorry, red onion. And then we're gonna bring that to medium heat. Stir it around a little bit to get the uh, 
the onion coated with the oil. We're going to let that sweat. Okay, so the uh, red onion looks nicely sweated. It's nicely translucent. It hasn't picked up any color from the pan yet. We're going to add the garlic. Now, garlic burns fast, okay? So what we want to do is we want to keep it moving. Stir it up, let it sweat, keep it moving. If you leave it, if you leave it sit too long, it will burn pretty quickly. So we're just going to stir it while we sweat it. Okay, now we want to deglaze with the white wine. We're going to use about a half cup, but I'm just eyeballing it here. And we want to reduce that until it's almost dry. Okay, so the white wine has almost completely evaporated. What this does is, is it burns off all the alcohol, so there's no alcohol in this, and it concentrates the flavors. Now what we're going to do is add the cucumber. We're going to add just enough water to cover the cucumber. And you, should, you do this with every kind of vegetable soup. You add just enough water to cover the vegetables. Okay, now we want to season this. Salt. Little ground white pepper. Remember this goes a long way. Don't use too much or it'll be too peppery, too spicy. Stir it up. Bring it to a boil. Simmer it about 10 minutes. Okay, so the cucumbers have come to a boil. We're going to reduce the heat to a simmer. And then we're going to set the timer for 10 minutes. Simmer for 10 minutes. Okay, so the cucumbers have finished simmering. First thing we're going to do is add the avocado to the blender. Next, add the cucumbers. Now remember, it's a good idea to cover the top of your blender while you're blending. Now we're going to puree this until it's smooth. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, it looks nice and smooth. Good. All right, the next step is to strain the soup into a clean bowl or pot. Now, I just cleaned out the pot that we used to cook the soup, and I'm going to strain it right back into that pot. Pour the soup into the strainer. Try to get as much of the uh, soup out of the blender as you can. I don't want to waste any of it, so that's why I use the rubber spatula. Now we're going to push the soup through the strainer by taking the spatula and pressing it against the bottom of the strainer and moving it around in a circle. This will press the soup through the strainer. Okay, now let's taste it. I'm going to add a little bit more salt and just a touch, just a touch of the white pepper. Stir it up. Now, you may not, if you taste it again now, it may taste a little different, it may not. Uh, but after it's uh, chilled for a while, sat for a while, the flavors will meld, and that'll be a better time to um, uh, to judge whether the seasoning is right. We're adjusting seasoning now. We may adjust it again later. Let's check it. Clean spoon. Mm, that's good. Okay, 
Next step is to chill this soup for at least two hours. Why do we do that? One, it's a chilled soup, right? So we need to bring it down so it's cool. Uh, secondly, that will help the flavors to meld. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for at least two hours. We'll come back and we'll finish the dish. Okay, it's time to finish this dish. First thing we're gonna do is check how thick it is. It's thickened up a bit in the refrigerator, so we're gonna add some water to it. I'm gonna get it to nice soupy consistency. Next, we're gonna taste it. See if we need to adjust the seasoning. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. Stir it up. Let's taste it again. Perfect. Okay, now time to plate up. We're gonna ladle about one and a half ladles full into each bowl. Clean up the edge. Now we're going to garnish with some fresh chopped tomato. And then finish with some chopped chives garnished from on high. Remember that means to lift your hand up about a foot to 18 inches above the, uh, above the dish and drop the garnish. That way it scatters very nicely. Chives and then mint. So there we have it. That's the conclusion of lesson 33 chilled cucumber and avocado soup. You can see photos of the final dish on my, on my Instagram, which is Chef's Apprentice Cook Like a Pro. Next up is Tarte de Flette Savillard, classic French dish with my twist. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.